Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Boy, you here getting ready to take out the D371 French Reserve Aircraft in Air Realistic. Um, had a really good game last game. A couple things surprised me about this that I liked. One is we got over 300 miles per hour and no wing rip, no issues with uh, losing the controls or anything. It did really well. Um, so yeah, it's got good energy for it, good climb. Um, the one thing about it is those guns, they fire fast. You've got four guns, 1200 rounds. Um, but I tend to run out of ammo pretty quick. The other thing is it makes the gun jump up every time that you shoot. So you're going to want to do short bursts with this as much as you can. Uh, having said all that, let's take it out and see what we can do. All right. So the map is counteroffensive. Um, decent amount of grounds. Looks like they're all light vehicles, which is good for us. Cause all we've got is our little tiny guns. See who's up here with us. All kind of lower BR. And some cool outlines of gray aircraft. Not sure what's going on with the server or my computer, but so be it. We're going to climb around 125 miles per hour. This plane does have a very good climb for a reserve. And let's see who we're up against. Up against Germans, USSR, and China. Okay. Two guys squatted together. It's not too bad. Check out the runways. So they're going to be facing off to this side. We're going to go ahead and go towards the grounds on the right hand side then. So if this is the map I'm thinking of, they have a bunch of AAs in the beginning that get shot down first basically before the tanks will go away but they get shot down pretty early so nice job Mikey um, so we'll take a look and see how things go we might end up uh, if we don't have any planes around I think it'd be worthwhile just go down and take out those OAAs first get a bunch of ground targets but I do see at least four aircraft over there they seem to be climbing two bombers up to the left No kidding. Thanks, buddy. Oh, he's calling out where he's going to bomb. Never mind. That is helpful. Oh, they got a duck. Nice. All right, so our climb rate's helping us out here. We're higher than anybody we need to be higher than. Do have a decent amount of ground hitters. See what this BB-1 does. Since we've got people within a couple kilometers, we're going to go ahead and level off. Get our speed up to 150 and make us more maneuverable. And the right thing to do, I know we're only at reserve, but the right thing to do is to fight your way top down. So, um, you know, push their highest aircraft down or shoot them down, one or the other. But you definitely don't want to dive early. You're just going to be down there with lower energy than anybody who wants to attack you. So I split off towards these ducks. Not sure where they're going. Might be trying to hunt the PBY, but they're all three of those aircraft are super slow. Not sure they'll catch them. Um, our P-36 is screwed. He managed to get four or five guys on his tail by being low and uh, being on their side of the map early, so... Lesson learned there. Alright, so we should catch these uh, HS-129s if we just level off. They look like they're trying to climb towards that PBY. Possibility that they don't recognize what we're up to and uh, just make for easy targets for us. We can definitely outmaneuver them. Let's see when they figure out what's going on. I like that the lower guy's climbing. Should 
Should have a shot on him soon. He does not have a back gunner, so no concerns there. I don't like that they just... Oh no, I thought they shot the PBY down. Alright, good hits in him. Gotta focus on his buddy. Got the big old 75, huh? Nice try. Alright, so he's doing a good job of staying out of our guns, but I think he's screwed no matter what he does. Yep, he's screwed. Alright, so they got a Martin 139 up high. We've got 400 rounds left. Got a few down low. We'll head over that way. Focus on the planes first. Catch a little bit of AA, but hopefully their aim's bad. Uh, we're down to four aircraft. They're about the same. So as much as we can, we want to go help out our buddy, although we're probably too late for him. Let's see if either of them has a bunch of kills. Ah, they're both doing well. Let's see, their base is going to be off to our right. We're going to assume they're going to head towards their base to reload. See if we can intercept. Uh, we're too close to it. They're going to get away. That's unfortunate. We might get one shot at them. I'll have to back off when the AA comes, though. Yeah, they're too close. Oh well. We will have to go rearm and meet them in the sky. Better than getting shot down by their airfield. Right, they seem to be hunting well together too, which isn't necessarily good for us. Let's see if there's any ground units we can hit on our way back. Light tanks sometimes you can get. If they're M8s open top, you can kill them with the uh, light machine guns. But anything else you're going to struggle with. I do see a couple AAs down there, so we're going to get ourselves nice and low. See if we can knock out a couple AAs before they get knocked out. Take one. Two's good. Save a little bit of ammo just because I saw that stupid. Alright, we've got 132 rounds. Should be enough to at least piss off the stupid. He wants a head on, we don't. We're much more maneuverable. Stay below his back gunner if we can. Good hits. We're out of ammo. So sometimes you can chase him and actually make him crash, but... He's a squad guy, he'd probably figure out what we're doing. Alright, so it's down to us against four. No problem. I will check in uh, with you guys again once I go back, rearm, repair, and uh, get to fighting these guys. Alright, we're still in the D371. We're up against three players. A couple of them have kills. 
key to this is to get an altitude advantage. Uh, two of those guys were fighting pretty well together as well. I see a dot over A right now. He's going after grounds. We're going to attempt to deal with him without giving up too much of our altitude or energy. Another guy up higher above A. He's the one we got to deal with first then. Luckily he's diving as well, that's perfect. Alright, so he's a 109. I haven't seen what our other buddy was. I assume it's maybe that I-16 that was flying with him earlier. Yep, okay. So nice thing is we've got an energy advantage over both of them. Um, best thing to do in a dogfight in Air RB, the best angle of attack against an enemy is directly down on them. That way, no matter which way they turn, you're going to have a shot at them. If I was to dive from right here and he turned around left real quick, I wouldn't get a shot at him. But if I can come straight down and he turns left, uh, I still have an opportunity to get him. All right, their third plane is up out in the distance pretty high. I mean, you got to take a chance at some point, so we'll dive on these guys. Try to energy fight, not do too much in, type, in uh, terms of turning with them. Just going to try and get some shots in. And peel away. Maybe we can climb stall this guy if we're lucky. And use our rudder. So he's stalled out, but the 109 isn't quite. It's too bad he got our engine, but he's out of energy, so let's dive. One down. Oh, our engine's completely out. Shit. Alright, we're going to have to dive just to get as much energy as we can to turn fight him. Fortunately, we don't have flaps either, so we're pretty screwed. Best thing we can do is ram his ass. Let's see if we get the kill. Nice. Alright, well, we did what we could with what we had. Unfortunately, I just didn't stall out that 109 like I was hoping to, so he got some shots in the engine, and that did us in. Alright, well, all in all, good game, and, and always fun to go up against, you know, a few other guys on the other team and, and give them a run for their money anyway. So, ended up with five air kills, six ground targets, uh, first place on the team. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you on the next one. America! Fuck yeah! To save this fucking day, yeah! Beautiful.